this is quite the vibe. But I absolutely hate the graveyard shift. The graveyard shift is the worst shift. You feel like such a soulless husk of a human being if you've ever worked the graveyard shift. Everyone I worked with just popped a bunch of energy drinks to stay awake because you don't want to be awake. You want to be sleeping. You want to be in your bed. But no, here you are at work soullessly giving your time and effort to a corporation that will give you absolutely nothing back besides a measly paycheck. Regardless of how I feel about the Graveyard Shift, though, this is the Graveyard Shift game, which will hopefully be better than the, uh, working the Graveyard Shift. Uh, I'm excited to play it. I've heard good things about it. And um, let's go ahead and jump into it here. New game. This game contains the following content warnings. Blood. Wow, shocker. Injury detail. Threatening behavior. Bad language, oh no. For better experience wearing headphones, plus keeping all background S SFX and voice acting turned on is advised. Okay. Stay safe and have fun. Uh, we'll see about that. In loving memory of Steve Pembo Pemberton. Oh, he was born the same year as my mom. And then he died October 31st. That, that hasn't even happened yet. It's not even the 31st yet. With heavy hearts, the police regrets to announce the passing of our beloved Officer Pemberton. His sharp wit, dry sense of humor, warm heart, and generous spirit will be deeply missed. In lieu of flowers, please consider donating to a charity of your choice. Well, that's very nice of him. Wow. Before we begin, please choose a portrait for the protagonist. Do we want to go with Officer Shearsmith or Officer Shearsmith? <laughs> this is a tough choice, guys. Um, now I know there's different things that can happen if you choose them. I guess you'll get different CGs. Uh, I'm gonna go with the guy. And what is Officer Smear Cheer Smith's forename? Oh, I have to type in one? <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, alright, alright. Bear with me on this one, guys, before you get mad. Alright, alright. <laughs> After the death of Officer Shearsmith's partner, Officer Pemberton, Shearsmith was assigned a new partner. Shearsmith met his new partner. And trainee Officer Volcom yesterday, what did they look like? Uh, are they a guy or are they a girl? I have no idea. Oh, so the first one wasn't even picking our partner. I thought that's who our partner was going to be. Um, I don't know. We can do two guys. We're going to do a girl. How about we do a girl? Sure. Oh, okay. One well, prick, she's already dead. Cliches of the police procedural is that the new partner always winds up dead. It's actually voice acting and with that. here I am, the living embodiment of that truth. Well, I'm not a cliche, I hope. But my story, well, it's as old as time itself. Okay, so I changed the speed of the text, and obviously I didn't want to do that because now it's going too fast. I didn't think it would change the cutscene, too. I was like, why is this horribly out of sync? Anyways. Roused my daydream by a loud banging on the passenger side window. I catch a glimpse of myself in the front mirror, barely recognizable, eyes sunken, worried from the unfortunate events of these past few months. It hasn't been all, all that long since I lost my old partner, and yet standing out there in the cold is his replacement. Staring tirely at the newbie, I shrug apathetically. Can I come in? Um, no. No, you can't. Yes. What are you waiting for? Uh, my hands are a little full. <sighs> well, freaking drop whatever, or put it on the roof of the car. I don't know. M improvise. You're a detective, or whatever you are. I, I, I actually have no idea what we are. Getting a side reach open the door. <sighs> Hurry up and get in, will you? It's freezing. Gosh, it's cold here, too. There you go. Wow, you look like like a character straight out of Death Note. Like, she literally looks like Lisa Amane with, like, pink hair. Maybe. Okay, a little bit different, okay? But you get you get my idea. She's that same type of girl. Handing me a paper cup filled with coffee, the newbie smiles and I grasp it with suspicion before taking a sip only to pause, eyes narrowing. Did you put any sugar in it? No, just poison. Well, I put a sweetener in it for you. Ah, How could you? That's, that's hardly the same, is it? A sweetener? Seriously? Yep. <sighs> Releasing yet another sigh. I can't help but feel as I'll never warm to this new part Why? of mine. Why? Do you want type 2 diabetes? Well, that's my decision to make, woman. 
I should be com be polite or complain. Uh, let's let's be polite, okay? We're not a terrible guy. Trust me to get stuck with Officer Vulcan the vegan. <sighs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll still drink it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. You know, sweeteners aside, let's see what we're doing here, boys. Awkward silence descends on the pair of us as we slowly slip our drinks. I suppose it's up to me to make more when conversation. When I did steakouts with my old partner, we'd have energy drinks, tins of chocolates, <laughs> and full stacks of Pringles. Well, your old partner's not here now, is he? What? Each? Yep. Trust me, you can relieve yourself a good few times in those tubes. Pretty handy for when you do an undercover work. Is he talking about eating the Pringles or doing something else with the Pringles can? You can improvise and make things with a Pringles can. Anyways. Ew, gross. That sounds extremely unsanitary. Please tell me you're joking. You are joking, right? Does this look like the face of a man who's joking to you? <laughs> well, it never did me any harm. Ugh, jeez. I dread to think what you put in the tins of chocolates then. Oh, and by the way, I'm not actually a full-on vegan. I'm more of a flexitarian. I do eat meat once a month or so. <laughs> I have so much I could say about that. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so you don't want to eat animal products, but you'll eat you'll cheat and eat animal products once a month. That that doesn't make sense to me. Why Why limit yourself? Just do one or the other. You know, I would mock her. We're going to approve that. Fair enough. I suppose we could all do with cutting down these days. What, with global warming and all that? Exactly. See, this is what I keep trying to explain to people. It's not just better for the environment, but for everyone alive. Yeah, it just sounds silly, though. Like, okay, I understand your logic behind it, but it just sounds silly. I'm just going to be honest. Hey. Do you know in some countries there are 3.7 cows for every human? I feel like just say that you try to not eat too much meat and that you so happen to probably eat meat around once a month. The way you say it just sounds like a typical vegetarian who just wants people to think that they're better than everyone else. 3.7 cows. I've heard there's a lot of chickens. I've heard there's more chickens than humans. Nope. I sure didn't. Well, you do now, so think on that <laughs> this guy's an absolute chad throws out this absolutely useful or useless information and then just doesn't elaborate just think on that another signs developed are small as we both sign unison i can't remember the last time i was this bored a cat would be better company one goes up but never comes down <sighs> you did this one yesterday did i yeah right after i introduced myself the answer is your age <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't with this guy. <laughs> he tells the same joke twice. Staring out the window, or the same riddle, I should say. It's not really a joke. Staring out the window, I just about managed to stop myself from sighing once more. You must miss him. Who? Your old partner. We had our fair share of arguments. And he could be a right grumpy lump sometimes. Wow, even grumpier than... Most cops. Yeah. Well, he was very different to you, put it that way. I would hope so. I mean, I doubt he had long pink hair. And... I see. You guys must have got on great. Looking gulps of coffee now to avoid the awkwardness, I can need to stare out the window wishing time would suddenly skip forward. I do have a skip button. I could do that. Did you ever actually spot anyone doing anything? Nope. <laughs> I saw a fox, heard an owl, and some bats. You know, sometimes it feels more like I'm out here doing wildlife surveys. <laughs> well, I guess no one's going to start dealing drugs with us sat here watching, are they? Even in an unmarked car, they'd still have to be pretty stupid. We're a deterrent. At least that's what Control said. There's been some instance of vandalism in the area, apparently. Probably just some people messing around. What's up with people doing stuff around graveyards? Like, 
Why? Why would you do that? Why would you mess around in a graveyard? Especially at night. What kind of hooligan are you? Oh, have you got a copy of the report? I wouldn't mind reading it. Should I make excuses or snap at her? Uh, no, on me. No. Sorry. If you remind me next time we're at the station, though, I can grab a copy for you then. Uh, sure. Shouldn't you have a copy with you, though? Yeah, but... <laughs> I forgot to pick it up. My memory isn't what it used to be. I used to do that at work sometimes. I would, like, forget to bring things. I'm just like, oops. Well, I don't really need it to do my job, but I should have it. That sucks. Maybe you should go see a doctor or something. You gotta look after yourself, right? Especially in a job like this. I need to distract her somehow so she stops bugging me about the stuff. The one that makes it, sells it. The one that buys it, never uses it. The one that uses it, never knows they're using it. What is it? The one that makes it, sells it. The one that buys it, never uses it. I don't know, my brain. Hmm. Can you say it again? <sighs> the one that makes it, sells it. The one that buys it, never uses it. The one that uses it never knows that they're using it. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Is it a towel? It's usually a towel with these things. <laughs> nope. <sighs> Fine. I give up. It's a coffin. A yep. coffin? That doesn't make any sense. Think about it. The one that buys it never uses it. I don't know, they don't use the one they make, probably, but they would probably use a coffin eventually. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, very clever. She sounds like she's just so done with him, like, okay, yeah, yeah, very clever. <laughs> Trust me, I've got plenty more where that came from. <laughs> oh, I believe you. What? You wait until you spend years doing this job. You've got to keep your mind occupied somehow. Keep the dark thoughts at bay. Yeah, I would imagine being around a cemetery all day. Not good vibes. Gosh, I was like, what is that? I thought maybe that was like a monster or something outside. Nope, just a stomach. Excuse me? Reaching over the newbie, I grabbed my dinner from the glove box. At least eating will pass a few oh, minutes. What? what the heck is that? It stinks. It's just chicken tikka masala. Do you want some? No. Could you please put a lid on it or eat it outside the car? Oh, come on. It's not that bad. In fact, it's always better after a few days. It really helps the flavors come out. Did you literally just leave that sitting in there for a few days? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great for you and everything, but please, I'm really sensitive to smells. All right, fine. We put the food away. Gosh, Miss Picky. Placing the lid, I sashed the curry back to the glove box, much to the leaf of the poor <sighs> newbie. Fine. I'm not that hungry anyways. I just thought it would help pass the time a bit. If I had known she was that sensitive, I wouldn't mention my old toileting habits earlier either. <sighs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. And... I'm sorry I'm not as good company as your old partner. But... Things will get better, won't they? You know... The more time we spend together? No problem. And honestly, don't don't worry about it. Friendships aren't created overnight, after all. I don't know. Some people hit it off really quick and you know they just True. become friends instantly. I'm sorry too, by the way. I don't mean to be grumpy with you. It, it's just I'm still getting used to the idea of having a new partner around, you know? I know. So did they offer you any counseling after, well, you know, after what happened? They did, yeah, but I never went. I feel like Volka is just like asking like, yeah, you probably got some serious issues now that your partner's dead. Did you ever go to counseling about that? Not a bad suggestion to do, just kind of weird that she would ask. It's like, yeah, have you ever uh, looked into getting these problems solved? You know, seems like you, you got a few. Why not? I don't know, I... What? I... It's okay. You know you can talk to me, 
right? He just said he's still getting used to you. It's gonna take him a bit to warm up. Be patient. I... Not ready to talk about it yet, especially not with someone I hardly know. She probably won't understand anyways. I spy anyways. with my little eye. Something beginning with SW. Uh, Southwest? Steering wheel? <laughs> yep, got it. Now it's your turn. Yeah, what are you doing? <sighs> really? That's you the best me? you could come up with? Okay, no, I've sure got anyway. a better <laughs> idea. You like games, right? Have you ever played, uh, fortunately, unfortunately? I don't really show some interest. How do you play? Well, we start telling a story, and one of us begins every sentence with fortunately, and the other one counters it with unfortunately. Okay. So, for example, you might say, um, fortunately, I won the lottery today. And then I would say something like, unfortunately, I lost the ticket. All right, I get it. This sounds good. You go first, then. Seems like it could be a fun game. Fortunately, See where it goes. I found the ticket in my jeans pocket. Unfortunately, I just washed my jeans, so the ticket was ruined. Fortunately, uh, the place I bought the ticket from had a copy. Unfortunately, it was the national lottery of some small island I've never heard of, and it was only worth enough to buy a coffee. Fortunately, they flew me out there to collect my winnings. Unfortunately, the plane crashed. Oh. Fortunately, we washed up on a nearby desert island with a population of beautiful native people. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were cannibals. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's the realistic thing. <laughs> Fortunately, they were vegan cannibals. That doesn't even make any sense. Unfortunately, they were actually flexitarian vegan cannibals and ate meat about once a month. Oh, this is all worth it. This build up to this single joke. <laughs> We're 17 minutes in this video. They've spent like 15 minutes building up this single joke. <laughs> well, fortunately, my partner came to rescue me. Unfortunately, my partner was killed. He had his throat oh. slit right where you're sitting now. He had a wife and two kids and another one on the way. And I was in a takeaway, waiting for Papa Doms. Wow, okay, this was an absolute vibe killer. Anyways. Fortunately, you're a strong person, and you, you can move on and keep helping others. Can't believe she got that out of me with her stupid game, but she's wrong about me. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm really not. Sorry. I realize now I probably should have let you do the fortunate I heard he was a great. Look, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Sorry. Well. How does this game go from getting me to laugh to just getting really serious all of a sudden? Excuse me. Did you not manage to sleep? No, of course not. I live next to a hospital. The damn sirens were going all day. Did you? Yeah, I was dead to the world. You've just got to get into a routine. That's me when I'm sleeping most of the time. I mean, I have a few nights where I'm like, eh, it's a little rough, but most of the time I'm just yeah, dead well, asleep. Yeah, you haven't got patience being wheeled past your window at all hours. Sounds like that's an absolutely terrible place to put a residential building. <laughs> Why would you put it right next to a hospital? Usually hospitals are pretty big and expansive to the point where you're not like right up against it at all. It's an awkward silence you're gonna tell us it's gonna be a long, long night. Right. Name the top five character tropes in police dramas. I'll start. The quirky pathologist. The rookie cop who faints at his first autopsy. The grizzled boss who's really got a heart of gold. Uh, the Maverick Loner, who wants to solve one last case before he retires. And the new partner who pisses him off, but ultimately earns his respect. <laughs> Very good. Right, I'm going on patrol for a bit. I feel like my bladder is about to explode. Without giving her a chance to stop me, I hop out of the car for some fresh air. Wait, what am I supposed to do? 
And he's gone. Great. At least I can get rid of that nasty lunchbox. Ugh, good riddance. Ah, oh, trick. What's going on? Control, this is Oscar 9. Over. Oscar 9, are you still in position? Over. Control, this is Trainee Officer Volcom. My superior is currently on a comfort break. Over. Can you repeat that, please? Over. Uh, Officer Shearsmith is... going... tinkles? Over. You mean he's gone to the toilet? Over. This conversation's so dumb. That is correct. Any movement in the suspect's apartment? Over. Apartment? We're in the middle of a cemetery. Uh, not that I can see. Over. And no unusual activity on the dockside? Over. Wait a minute. We're supposed to be watching an apartment? And we're in the cemetery. Something's not adding up here. Um, hello? I'm a little worried. Negative. It's all quiet here. Uh, Over. Shearsmith, you can come back now. Okay. Hold your position in the car park. We have intel he might be on the move in the next few minutes. Over. Will do. Out. Oh boy. <sighs> Man, it's colder than a polar bear's asshole out there. I'm surprised they didn't come out as ice cubes. Isn't your asshole one of the warmest parts of your body? That's where you put a suppository because it, it's just the easiest way to get it. Yeah, why would it be cold? I feel like if you were going to pick any part of the polar bear that'd be cold, maybe like the paws? I feel like the paws would be exposed to the most, you know, snow. What are we actually doing out here exactly? What do you mean? We're on a stake out. Well, is there any particular suspect we're meant to be looking for? Why do you ask? Because I'm a police officer, and I want to know what we're doing here. I feel like that's a very valid thing to ask. You're a trainee officer, which basically means you just need to trust me and do as you're told. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but can we at least figure out what we're doing here? So we're not meant to be at the docks, then? What? Of course we're not meant to be at the docks. Why are you bringing that up? You're really starting to get on my nerves. Oscar 9, Oscar 9 from Control. Suspect on the move. Can you confirm a sighting? Over. Yes, yes, Control. This is Oscar 9. We're in pursuit. Over. <sighs> right. Get the docks up on your phone. What's going- Just do it. Control, Control from Oscar 9. Request airborne surveillance. The suspect is in camouflage gear and is really hard to spot. Over. Oscar 9 from Control. Request received. What is going on? Are you lying to them? I'm not lying to them. We're on our way, aren't we? Turn left. Listen, I respect your seniority, but you've got to tell me what's going on. There's meant to be a big drop happening tonight behind the old dockyard warehouses. Sixteen boxes of angel dust smuggled in some barbecues or something, apparently. So why have we been staking out a cemetery? Oscar 9, Oscar 9 from Control. What is your position? Over. Is this going to be one of those things where he, he thinks he's like looking after this case but he's actually doing something completely different like he he's not mentally there he's not really seeing what he thinks he's seeing uh control from oscar 9 suspect is currently head heading south on and quick oscar 9 you are romeo 1 say again what are you doing is it left or right uh left no right my partner was buried in that cemetery. It was his grave that was vandalized. I just wanted to be there in case the fucker came back. Why? So wait, we were looking at the cemetery while we were supposed to be watching the apartment. This guy's crazy. Because I believe whoever did it was the same bastard that killed him. They're mocking me. I just know it. I'm gonna go over the bridge. No, 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 no. It says to go through the estate. What do you mean it says? This way's much faster. No, well, it, it says the bridge is up. It's not. I can see it with my own eyes. Just go left! Fine. Ridiculous. Um, I, I'm just really concerned what here. What if they find out, huh? What happens to us? They're not going to find out, are they? Because you're not going to tell them, are you? Are you? No. 
Why didn't you say anything? I meant to be your partner. Don't you trust me? Fucking hell, I think that's him. Reaching into the glove box to retrieve my binoculars, I can't help but notice the officer. Absence of my ever-present lunchbox. my box. curry? I got rid of it. You what? <laughs> it was three days old. Do you want salmonella? It's not even this point in the star here right now. I raised my binoculars to my eyes. Dereliction of duty? Yeah, this is totally unprofessional. Yeah, it's him. Right. And I'll approach on foot. No! Radio through our position to control. Don't worry, I won't do anything stupid. Don't! Oh boy, this is gonna go control. horribly this wrong. Is Oscar 9, over. Oscar 9, go ahead, over. Control, I just sent you our coordinates. We have the subject in our sights. Maintaining distance, over. Oscar 9, received. Backup is on the way, over. Control, nothing more to report. Out. What do we have here? Huh. Newspaper clippings, a few photographs. And some sort of weapon. Oh no, this guy's an absolute loon. Oh boy, this is bad. Everyone knows stealing evidence is a serious offense. Ugh, why would you take this stuff, idiot? Cause cause he's clearly not in his right mind. <gasps> That's him! Officer Pemberton. Oh, they look so happy together. You guys were more than just partners, weren't you? I never could have imagined your friendship meant so much to you. <sighs> if only I'd seen this stuff sooner, maybe I could have prevented this mess. Let me tell you what. <sighs> I'm starting that diet on Monday. I'm so out of shape, it's a joke. Shit! I guess I better put this back for now. I can confront him later. Where are you? I'm just behind the containers on the side of a dog shit alley. Can you see him? Yeah. He's smoking. Well, backup's on the way. You know, you mustn't blame yourself for what happened to your partner. You could never have stopped it. It was just one of those things. I don't need counseling. At least he was a good cop, though, yeah? He wasn't on the take or anything. Hang on, hang on. Something's happening. Boy, I... I'm so lost. I feel like something bad is gonna happen here. He's making contact. I need to get a bit closer. Go to ten three from now on. Uh, wait! Control, control! This is Oscar Nine. Urgent call. Over. Oscar Nine, go ahead. Over. Shots fired. I say again, shots fired. Where's the backup? Over. Oscar Nine, backup is two minutes away. Two minutes away. Over. Fuck! Oscar Nine, do not. Oh boy, oh boy. Are we gonna have a second, um, second partner die here? We already saw how the start of the game went. Kind of interesting that there's loading screens in a visual novel. Wait, here, what happened? I got you a chai latte. What the frick? That, that was kind of important. Are we just glancing over that? Why? It's important to try new things. <laughs> and let me guess. It's also good for my blood pressure? <laughs> not particularly. Well, thank you. We're not going to cover anything that just happened. Taking a large gulp with a drink, I feel the foam dissolve on my tongue. Mm. It's like drinking a mince pie. <laughs> I thought I'd find you here. All the others are at the bar celebrating a record haul. You're quite the celebrity. Looks like you had about six drinks lined up. Why me? It was you who took them down. I've never seen anything like it. It's a good job you were so quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's because I don't sit here eating tins of chocolate and tubes of Pringles. <laughs> well, I owe you a drink anyway. Unfortunately, I don't drink alcohol either. Fortunately, they serve fruit juice. Unfortunately, trainee officers aren't invited. Oh, look at this chemistry, guys. They've kind of kind of built up something here. Fortunately, you'll soon be offered a promotion. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'll turn it down. 
I'm a bit too old for all that. A bit too old? You look like you're in your 20s. What do you mean? Old? Don't be daft. <laughs> well, you saved my life, fortunately. So, thank you. Yeah, but that means I'm going to be sat in here listening to you do riddles again, unfortunately. <laughs> Correct. Actually, I'm giving up on all that. It was just a distraction technique. I'm starting counseling tomorrow, and I've been looking up yoga classes too, so... Hmm? So you've obviously got under my skin. Yeah! Trope number five, tick! <laughs> Anything to report? Nah. Well, it's nice that they're getting along and he's going to counseling. I feel like if you had somebody close to you die, I mean, it just... It doesn't hurt. I thought I saw someone hanging around by the car when I turned the corner. I didn't see anyone. Meh, must have been a trick of the light. Oh no, oh no. No, there's there's never a trick of the light. I hope you don't mind, but um, I was reading your case notes. You were the last person to see your partner alive. Why did it get quiet when it said that? Yeah. I was only gone for a few minutes. Awful. And you said his grave was vandalized? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They dug it up, smashed the lid in. It was horrible. Huh. Do you think whoever did it was looking for something? <sighs> Heck knows. None of it makes any sense. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to throw out a theory. I have no idea if this is even close to the mark. We already know he's a little bit obsessive. A little bit of crazy. Is it entirely possible he has like a split personality and he was the one that killed his partner? And he's just kind of hiding from the other partner. Or from, from his other self, I should say. I believe the murder weapon went missing from forensics. Did it? <sighs> you know it did. You've got it down there. What were you thinking? I don't know, guys. There's something going on here. I don't trust them. Let's just say I wanted a second opinion. I give it to a friend of mine who ran some tests on it. He said it was antique. A rare Victorian stiletto blade. And how did that get there, huh? You can't just take the law into your own hands. It's only been a month. Let them do their job. Why are you so fucking interested all of a sudden? Because I want to help you. Are you wearing a wire? What? Who are you? I don't even know who you are. If you're wearing a wire, I swear I'll... Come here. Get off! What are you doing? I'm telling you guys, this, this, he's crazy. Well, go on then. Show me. I do apologize. I just realized that my camera's probably been blocking him a little bit. There! Look! Look! See? Nothing! So calm down! I'm on your side! <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, I, I just... Oops. I'm not thinking straight. I've not been sleeping. I keep seeing his face. A little bit better, guys. I'll put it there for a minute. Who's? My partner's. I can't lay it to rest. I... I... At least coming here, I feel like I'm doing something. I understand. And for the record, no. I don't think you killed your partner. I don't know, I did he? It was one of those random acts of violence that we see every day. Unless you were trying to feed him that three-day-old curry. <laughs> you cheeky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's cold tonight. I don't know. Something about this is not sitting right. Ooh, do you want a tea bag? They're they're playing this off like, oh yeah. It's so happy, no. it's all good, Cheers, yeah. Got my chai latte. No, hand warmers. They heat up when you shake them. Oh, right. You're oxidizing the iron by producing an exothermic reaction. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh no! No! Oh god! I don't, I don't like I where this is going. It's damn suspicious from outside. I had to look out for this kind of thing when I was in the park. What was that? <laughs> I just scared the hell out of me. I don't like I this. Don't know. A branch, maybe. I'll check it out. Wait I don't there. like this. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't want to get scared. <laughs> I locked the doors and reached the dagger down my side, ready to protect my partner if necessary. Something scrapes past my door, chilling the blood in my veins as my heart begins beating faster. Gosh, my heart rate is like going, like, oh, nope. Why put me the haze in the windows in desperation? I can barely make, leave my eyes. It can't be Pemberton. Uh, okay. He showed up and then disappeared. I time the wind. Windscreen is free of obstruction. There's nothing here. Blinking repeatedly, I desperately try to catch my breath. Please tell me I'm not losing my mind here. Come in? Fuck! Oh my god. You scared the shit out of me. <sighs> yes. Get in. Did you see anything? Nothing. I'm. I'm going mad. <laughs> I just saw Pemberton again. Yeah, you you did. And uh, I'm very concerned. He's probably just hungry. What? What are these the top five tropes of? They sleep in the daytime. They won't cross running water. They have to be invited in. They can't stand the smell of garlic. Oh no. And yes, you guessed it. Is this a vampire story? We cast no reflection. <laughs> I know you didn't kill your partner. That was me. No. And believe me, I'm so, so sorry. If I had known the two of you were so close, that he was so important to you, I... I never would have... Would have what? Murdered my only fucking friend? Well, it's a bit damn late for apologies, don't you think? Interesting. So, there was like, it was like a silver Victorian... Uh, stiletto knife? I wonder if that's, like, to kill vampires with. That's why it was at the scene of the crime. Not necessarily. What the hell do you mean? What if I told you you're not going mad at all? Quit the cryptic bullshit and just tell me what the fuck is so going Pemberton's on here. So still alive, and he's Come a vampire on. now. Spit it out! It's okay, my child. You can come in. What is... This. He won't hurt you. He's just hungry. But he'll learn to deal with it, just as I have. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I wasn't expecting this to be a vampire story. But this is already better than Twilight. You know, I was planning on giving you to him for his first feast. But on that first night together, you were kind enough to indulge me, despite the immense pain you must have been in. Most people would have lashed out, but not you. And so I changed my mind. To what? I want you to join us instead. J join you? Join you how? I won't lie to you. It'll hurt at first, and probably even more once the hunger sets in. Once you get used to it, though, it's not so bad. And you wanted to be reunited with your dear friend. Well, this is your chance. Just say the word, and I'll make it so the two of you will never be apart again. This can't be happening. <laughs> oh, but it can. You see, we all like to think that we're the center of the universe, but this isn't only your story, my friend. It's ours. Alright, moment of truth. Do we accept? She wants to turn us into a vampire. I don't know. She's kind of cute. Looks kind of kinky. Let's do it. Fine. Then do it. Make me a monster. I feel like that's what he would want. I, don't you guys think that Sheer Smith would want to be with his partner, Pemberton? <laughs> We're not monsters, silly. Just different. Give it time. You'll see. Things are so much better this way. <laughs> well, okay then. 
several nights later. We meet again, my child. Welcome to our little family. I hope you're not too bored of hanging out here. We're going to have many more stakeouts together. I really should turn down the, the speed. Well, okay then. That was the end. Or one of the endings, because there's multiple endings. Interesting. Okay. Um, I will say it was kind of weird having two different artists for the CGs, but... Uh, the voice acting in this game is phenomenal. I'm, I'm glad that for, for, for you know, like an itch.io project, I always like when they have voice acting, and I especially like when they have really good voice acting. The full credits, check out the folder. Okay. I think that's a lot of people. Even one that's Japanese over here. I mean, I'll definitely leave a review after I'm done playing. I would like to do all the other endings. I mean, what are we, 40 minutes in? I should be able to get the other endings pretty quick. Very big thank you. Yeah, I wonder how long this took them. Um, this was pretty pretty good. And anxiety and depression, I, I, can, I feel that. Happy Halloween to you all. You've now unlocked the extra section. Please note the art and blooper section may contain spoilers if you're not reached all the endings. Okay, we'll definitely do that before we even look at that. I would like to get um, the other two endings, so we're going to be doing that as well. Um, I really like that so far, though. That was pretty freaking good. Um, definitely, I don't know, definitely feels like the vampire part is kind of like thrown in there at the end. I mean, I didn't see that coming, but I maybe mean, it made sense. Okay, so we're going to skip past all that. Okay. Uh, let's go with the girl this time. I'm just gonna go with Shear Smith again, because why not? Officer Pemberton, Shear Smith will sign a new partner. Okay. Uh, let's go with the guy this time. How about that? One of the more persistent cliches of the police procedure is that the new partner always winds up dead. And here I am, the living embodiment of that trope. Well, I'm not a cliche, I hope. But my story, well, it's as old as time itself. Interesting. We never get to see them like that, but I think they're implying that my story is as old as time as itself. You know, you're talking about, um, talking about vampires. All right, so I went ahead and made every choice you can make to be kind of nice or whatever and then i need to reject the proposal so we're gonna go ahead and do that no you can take your offer and burn in hell you vile murdering piece of shit i'll put you both back in the ground where you belong i will say one of the key differences i noticed when i um selected to have the female vocal is that uh the jokes were different like the the riddles those were a little bit different but besides that it mostly was the same i would say that is a shame well, you can't say I didn't try to save you. Enjoy your first feed, my child. An eternity of them awaits you. A little bit different How than the uh, opening we saw. You made your choice. Everyone's gotta eat, right? All right, so that is the other ending. So this is when I selected all the nice options, but I selected one kind of uh, more rude option. Long to lock the doors and reach for the down for the dagger, but I decided ready to defend myself if necessary. When this crates fast my door, I'm chilling the blood in my veins as my heart begins to beat faster. <gasps> it's Pemberton. Oh, well, apparently I can keep going. Come in, my child. Enjoy your first feed. An eternity of them awaits you. Why? Because this isn't your story, my friend. <laughs> it's mine. <sighs> One
one of the more persistent cliches of the police procedural is that the new partner always winds up dead. And here I am, the living embodiment of that trope. Well, I'm not alive anymore, but my story, well, it's as old as time itself. <laughs> da -da -da. It's as old as time itself. All right, well, I think I covered all the endings. I think that was the final ending. It just felt, like, very similar, I guess, to maybe the other ending where you kind of um, reject the proposal. So it felt just kind of similar. But it does kind of wrap up um, the start of the game for sure. I will agree with that. Like, it does kind of continue from the idea, like, oh, your partner's dead, and you don't know how. And it's like, oh, no, actually, they just, um, you know, kind of feed in on you and stuff. But interesting. So Pemberton was still alive, but he got turned into a vampire. I mean, I won't say this was the most like original vampire idea. It was it was interesting though the build up to it. I think there was there's probably more funny moments in this than really serious moments. I feel like there's a lot of a lot of humor, or at least things I found funny. Uh, I think overall a pretty good game though. I mean, I definitely have some some things I would nitpick, and I'm like I don't know if I want to in case they watch this, and I feel really bad because I just start ripping into the game. Um. I would have liked maybe more hints that there was a vampire early on. I mean, they did give, like, maybe a couple. I feel like the, the dagger, the silver dagger, was was a hint. Um, we didn't really get an explanation for that, though, did we? Was there any explanation as to why that was there? Uh, maybe Pemberton was looking into vampires, and maybe he brought that with him, but got turned into one himself before they could do anything. And then our partner so happened to get the, the knife, maybe, before they hit it. I'm not too sure. Because uh, there was only a few minutes in between, right? I mean, that that makes sense. It just, I wish they would have maybe elaborated on that more. It seemed like the vampire part just kind of came in there at the end, and you're just like, oh, what? Um, even though we could tell something something was going to happen here. Um, and then the partner just kind of staying... I don't know. He, he They were just kind of staying at the cemetery. I don't know. I, w I would have liked them to, to spice this up a little bit more, but I do think the concept and and overall was good. Uh, I'm not going to trash on it too much more. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to be objective here. I'm just trying to point out things that maybe didn't make sense to me. And maybe they do, but I'm just saying from my point of view how it's like. But I think overall this is a pretty good game. I actually, like, was pretty absorbed in the story. So I think as far as that aspect goes, this was really good. Uh, and then I was reading in the, the ending there. Um, I mean, I did read it, but I read through it again. And it did say that this was made in under a month. So I think that's the most impressive part here is that there's actually an abundance of quality um, for being under a month. I would have liked to see, and maybe they still will do this, I don't know. Some people like to kind of expand upon their um, visual novels that they make for Spooktober because they have a dead, deadline that they have to meet. So they'll kind of just put out like the, the visual novel jam version. And then some people will make a, an extended version. I would like to see an extended version where they really flesh this out more. I think what you have here is great. I think this is a great game. I feel like there should just be a little bit more build-up, um, a little bit more hinting at vampires or something like that. I feel like just the end of the game needs more work. I feel like the beginning was great. Um, I would have just liked to see more... I don't know, make it more rewarding at the end, I guess? That, that's what I would have liked. Um, but overall, pretty good game. I think um, Melancholy Marin Marionette um, did a good job, and all the people that, that helped them out did a great job as well so definitely like this i'm definitely gonna be playing some more um visual novels in this jam seems to be a, a few good entries in here that i need to check out so anyways guys i appreciate you for watching go ahead and support melancholy and marionette they did a fantastic job in this game um, and i would like to see more like this this is pretty cool i really like the idea for sure so i appreciate you guys and i shall see you in the next video have a good one